Hello, my name is Rob Bohm, the creator of Unbound Being, and today I want to speak about the uncontaminated eye. Now, before I do speak about the uncontaminated eye, I wanted to say that I have a, a, an ebook that came out. Uh, I wrote it a while ago. I'm busy writing a book, and some of the chapters of the book are in this short ebook. It's an ebook about non duality or, or spirituality or knowing who you truly are, the true nature of consciousness. And if you go to my website, the link is down below. You go to the blog page, there's a little inbox. You could put your name, your email, and you could subscribe to my newsletter. And in return, you'll get the free ebook uh, that you can download immediately after that. So um, that will be something of interest to you. So the uncontaminated I. You know, you hear people speak all day long about I this, I that, I went here, I am there, I believe this, I believe that. It's incredible the amount of times people use I. Uh, am this, I am doing that, I want this, it's just incredible. And the problem is that it becomes contaminated. In other words, the, the, the I gets contaminated with identifications. It gets identified with the body, identified with the mind, identified with the beliefs and the social structure. I get identified with all these things. And so they always refer to this contaminated I. When in reality, if you want to have harmony and peace, if you want to live in in harmony with, with your environment, including your inner environment, then you have to understand who you truly are, who the uncontaminated I is. In other words, there's no problem with, con with the contaminated aspects. In other words, I am the body, I do this, I do that. I just said, you know, I have a book I wrote and things like that. But the fact is though, if you don't know the uncontaminated I, the I before it takes on any identification with body, mind, or any such structures, beliefs, any conditioning, um, if you don't know that unconditioned I, there's always going to be disharmony. Because, you see, this, con this body is going to die, the mind is going to die, all these things we know, the, the philosophies, the ideas, the concepts, the material, intellectual concepts we hold about life and the earth and the world and politics and everything that we have an opinion about is going to die. That is the contaminated I, it's the mortal I. So, it's much like a Christmas tree. I was saying to my wife the other day that basically a Christmas tree uh, that isn't always in your house. Basically in the spot where the Christmas tree usually goes, a lot of people have a, a favorite spot, they always put the Christmas tree there. It's usually empty. That's how you should be. That's the uncontaminated eye, pure space. It's just the pure perceiving awareness. It's me, the real me, the looking at, but perceiving that I'm looking at. It's, it's the eye that is uncontaminated. It's just pure perception. It's just seeing here now. It doesn't have history. It's always here. If there's any history or past coming up as mental fervor and memory, it is I perceiving it, but I'm not it. Right? So basically, the, it's pure space. It's perceptive space. It's intelligent space. And this is the uncontaminated eye. However, where the uncontaminated eye usually stands, when you become a, a child, it gets dressed up. So the Christmas tree gets put up there in one of those feet and then the tree goes in and the top goes on or usually the top goes last I think but then they start putting all these balls in there they put lights in there and they put little stars in there and before you know it you know the entire Christmas tree is decorated contaminated in other words um, with all this fervor all this mental activity all these beliefs all this history all this future which is doesn't exist because there's only the uncontaminated space so if you remove all of the you know the tip on on top of that the christmas tree would probably be the men, the mind right now uh, people's like oh that's really obvious and people think they believe that they're their mind then the tree itself of course would be the body people identify with their body as being the center of, of their universe and they say I, and they refer to I the body have been here and then they say I believe which is I the mind you know so they have all these identities and then you got all the Christmas trees and the, ball, the uh, Christmas balls and all the decoration all the concepts all the beliefs all the experiences all the past all the projections all the emotions they all get put in there the lights everything and then the trick is to know yourself as the space in the room where there is not even a tree. To know yourself to be the uncontaminated I is to really intrinsically, inherently rest as the pure perception. Rest as being aware of being aware, just awareness being aware of itself. Silent, 
still, ever present, now, just looking, just seeing, just hearing. But all the things that are heard and seen are not it. It is the perceiving intelligence, the pure perceptive space that is the uncontaminated I, here and now. Rest as the uncontaminated I, and it will inform you of its immortality and its universality and its eternity, its infinity, its absoluteness. The uncontaminated I does not die. It's here and now, it's always, it is the uncontaminated I. Don't forget to subscribe and like and make sure to go to the newsletter and get the free book and um, we'll be in contact. Rest is the uncontaminated eye.